everyone and welcome to the daily newspaper analysis which is brought to you by Law Seco. Today we'll be moving forward with the news update and legal news for the day. So firstly on the column of the news update we have world's most expensive cities. New York and Singapore top the list. So the world's most expensive cities are jointly New York and Singapore according to the annual Economist Intelligence Unit survey. It is the first time that New York has topped the rankings. Last year, number one was Tel Aviv, uh, which is actually a city in Israel, is now placed at third number. Secondly, Reliance is the most valued Indian firm. Mukesh Ambani owned Reliance Industries Limited has topped the list of 500 most valuable companies in India. Axis Bank's private banking business and Hurun India's 2022 Burgundy Private Hurun India 500. Reliance India Limited's uh, value stood at rupees 17.2 lakh crore, up to 3.6% as compared to last year. Thirdly, Malhotra and Paranjape named in the new cricket advisory committee. So Malhotra and Paranjape and Nayak made it up the BCCI's new cricket advisory committee. The BCCI has set up a cricket advisory committee comprising former Indian players Ashok Malhotra, the full names basically are Ashok Manhotra, Jatin Paranjape and uh, Sulakshana Nayak to interview the candidates in line for a place in the new selection panel for men's cricket. Fourthly, World Day of the Handicapped or International Day of Persons with Disabilities. So the 2022 Global Observance to commemorate the International Day of Persons with Disabilities will be around the overarching theme of innovation and transformative solutions for inclusive development covering in three different interactive dialogues. Fifthly, Atmanirbhar Textile Policy. Haryana Cabinet approved a new Atmanirbhar Textile Policy 2022 to 2025, which aims to attract investment worth rupees 4,000 crore and generate 20, generate 2 lakh new jobs in the state. A decision in this regard was taken in the meeting of the Council of Ministers held under the chairmanship of Chief Minister of Haryana, Manohar Lal Khattar. Let's see, what do we have for legal updates today? Firstly, existence of an alternate remedy cannot exclude with writ jurisdiction of High Court, says the Supreme Court. So the Supreme Court reiterated that the existence of an alternate remedy by itself cannot exclude the writ jurisdiction of the High Court per se. This was held in the case of Maharashtra State Board of Bucks versus Sheikh Yusuf Bhai Chawla. Secondly, Order 33, Rule 1 of the Civil Procedure Code, application to sue as indigent can be rejected if it is found that the suit is barred by res judicata, says the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court observed in the case of Solomon Selvaraj versus Indrani Bhagwan Singh that uh, an application to sue an indigent under Order 23, Rule 1 of Code of Civil Procedure, can be rejected if it is found that the suit is barred by res judicata. Here is a question for you all. If you understand what is res judicata under the CPC, pause this video right now and let me know in the comment section below. All those who will be giving the right answer, I will uh, definitely applaud these students in the Mondays and that is the uh, next upcoming newspaper analysis. So this was all for today. We hope you liked this session. Thank you so much for staying tuned with Law Seco. If you wish to download the PDF of today's slides, you can join our Telegram channel. The link is there in the description box below. You can also scan this QR code that you can see on your screens right now. Thank you so much. Thank you.